What's up guys, should you go after low volume keywords, both for yourselves and your own agency and for your clients, and for those of you guys who don't know me, my name's Frankie Finn, I'm the author of the book Beyond the Agency Box since, I don't know, about 2007, I've built three different agencies up to 100 plus simultaneous clients, and helped hundreds of people to live the whole agency beach laptop lifestyle, as you can see it's a sunny day here in Mexico, we're going to talk about some really, really, really important stuff here that's going to help you guys so much with your conversions. Alright you fine motherfuckers, can I just say that I love you guys, <laughs> all uh, 400 and something of you guys. Um, here's the deal, somebody asked me should I go after this low volume keyword and I actually learned something about keyword search volume when I first got into SEO. So my first website was actually a friend of mine called me up one day and said, hey I have this uh, real estate course, I want to sell it on the internet and uh, we decided after a while to collaborate on actually he hung up on me and I said, we? I'm like, I don't know how to build shit on the internet. You're going to sell your own course. But I didn't really have much going on. It was around 2007. The market was starting to crash. Decided I was going to sell some real estate courses and had to self-teach myself some SEO in order to get traffic in that. And I ended up getting to all the way between, I would bounce between number one and number three, mostly number one and number two for the keyword real estate investing. And what I found is there were 60 to 100,000 searches a month for that keyword. So I would get like two to 3,000 visitors a day to my website and I would make one or two sales from that. Now at the same time I started going after other keywords. I went after a keyword called short sale course. And in the keyword short sale course, what ended up happening was kind of mind-bogglingly to me because it only had 100 people a month searching it, but I would make 15 sales from that keyword, like our conversion rate of 15%. So this boggled my, my mind for a long time. How could this possibly be so that I would get 100,000 people a month on one keyword and make no sales, and then I would get like 100 people and they would convert? And it's really the simple that keyword course implies buyer intent. And so the question you want to be asking yourself, if ever you're going to go after these low volume keyword searches, is this something that is going to bring me the right person in a buying mindset? If the answer is no, you're probably going to want to skip that. But if the answer is yes, then you may find all kinds of opportunities dominating these little long tail keywords where people are looking to buy things that nobody else is really competing on, such as short sale course, which only took me a few weeks to rank. The real estate investing was super competitive. I had to work my ass off to stay at number one short sale course. I could basically get there with like 10 backlinks and stay there. Um, so this is really, really key, whether you're running Google AdWords or whether you're doing this through uh, Google Search and, and SEO and those kind of things. Would love to hear, by the way, just from some of you guys in the comments, some of the your experience with any particular uh, little search keywords like you've had like that that converted really, really well for you. Or if you've had the opposite experience where it was a total flop, uh, share your experience down below. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And may the force be with you.